Hey, did you get into the book of Proverbs like we discussed? Have you been reading? Are you caught up on your chapters? Well, listen, no worries. If you didn't do it, I'll give you a pass, but only this week. Amen? <laughs> only this week. You better get in the book of Proverbs next week. Amen? Amen? But stay tuned with us so we can get into the book together to see what the proverb addresses this week. Yeah. So we're still in the book of Proverbs chapter 1. And last week, I believe we um, read over verses 1 through 7, I believe, or 1 through 6. And so today, our key verses are going to be verse 3 and verse 4. I'm going to read it to you from the New King James translation. And Proverbs is taken from the Old Testament. And it reads in this manner, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 3. It reads, and pay close attention to the words, mm -hmm. to receive the instruction of wisdom, Hallelujah. justice, judgment, and equity. Yes. Verse 4, to give prudence to the simple, simple to the young man, knowledge, and discretion. discretion. So here it is when we see in Proverbs chapter 1 that this book is written to two different audiences. Mm -hmm. Verse 3 is written to those who will do what? Receive. Verse 5 and 6 are written to those who hear and understand. Let me read verses 5 and 6. A wise man will hear and increase learning. And a man of understanding will attain wise, wise counsel. counsel. Verse 6. To understand a proverb and an enigma, the words of the wise and their riddles. riddles. Amen. So here it is when we look at the student of youth in verse 4. Is the audience. Mm -hmm. He is beckoned to listen to instruction so that he might act with wisdom. Mm -hmm. The result of his obedience will demonstrate the rightness in his manner of life, which is righteousness. righteousness. The property or fitness of his decisions, which is justice. justice. The pleasing aspects of his lifestyle, which is equity. equity. How many parents out there or caretakers, care providers mm -hmm. that you are sharing wisdom with the younger audience? Mm -hmm. Why? Because you want them to have wisdom. Mm -hmm. But not just intellectual and in being intellectual, but godly wisdom. Mm -hmm. See, in contrast, when we look at verse 4, it's written to those who will give prudence, knowledge, and discretion. This verse addresses the teacher or parent and exhorts him to impart, I just said it, mm -hmm. wisdom to the simple or naive and gullible youth so that they might not become shrewd. Mm. So, a shrewd but youthful person armed with wisdom and knowledge will devise plans to best achieve his goals and do what? Bring honor to his parents. And one of the fourth commandments with promise says, Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon this earth. Mm. See, one can't help be reminded of biblical examples of shrewdness, such as that of Joseph in his numerous and various dealings with the Egyptians. Yeah. What parent wouldn't want to help their child or their children see the pitfalls and traps of life and teach them these proverbs that are still relevant for our learning today? Mm. It's a question. So, when we look at the book of Proverbs, there are two responses to the book of Proverbs. Mm -hmm. The Let's book of over. Proverbs that are two responses to it is this. The fear or reverence of the Lord is the first response. Uh -huh. The definition of fear is an expression of eventual submission to the Lord's will and therefore characterizes a true worshiper. Mm -hmm. I love the scripture that says that those who worship me must worship me in spirit yeah, and in truth. Yes, yes. See, this reverence for God results in the beginning of knowledge, 
Therefore, there's no true knowledge possible without reverence for God. We must reverence God. We must have respect for him. We must acknowledge him. The foolish reaction is the second mess, response, excuse me. And that is, it is fools who lack understanding, mm -hmm. Come on now. are morally unskilled, and refuse correction. Mm. Fools ultimately refuse the greatest gift of all time, the gift of eternal life provided by an almighty God to all who will believe in his son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. See, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, that true message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. Mm. But uh, to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. So I'm saying to you today, oh, speak the wisdom of the gospel of someone today on, to help Jesus. them understand their choice between the pitfall of damnation and the gift of the cross of Christ Jesus. Mm. We're closing out. There are two paths before each of us. One leads to damnation mm. for eternity when we act foolishly and reject the free gift of salvation from God. But let me say this, uh, say this also about damnation. Mm -hmm. That if you've accepted Jesus Christ and you still live in your life, like you have not accepted him, like you have not confessed Jesus, that like you don't believe in him, shame on you. But thank God for the gift of repentance that you can and that we should repent. Just take the self-examination of what you're doing and what you're not doing according to the word of God. See, this message is not a message to guilt trip you into anything. See, God is a gentle God. He's a patient yes, he God. Very patient. But I personally, I don't want to try his patience to see how far to the edge can I get mm. before I decide that I'm going to turn back. And when I say turn back, not turning back to the worldly ways or to, the, the, to a sinful nature, but to turn back to Jesus Christ. If you haven't already, cho choose the other path. It is wise because it results in a righteous manner of life, mm -hmm. fit decisions, and a pleasing lifestyle. Mm. Better than that, it all leads to eternal life. Hallelujah. See, when we live a life for Christ, it's eternal life yes, it is. to reign with him in heaven. And you might be saying, well, Pastor Shelley, you don't understand the family, the dynamics in my family and where I came from. No, I don't understand in full totality. Mm. But I had the solution, and the solution is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. To live by his word, mm. to glorify him, to do that which he's calling you to do so that you can be in upstanding right relationship with him. Mm. Not quoting the scripture from your left hand, but then you using curse words from your right hand. Yeah. Come on, you got to make a decision today. I love the scripture in Joshua 24, 15 that says, mm. Choose whom this day that you will serve. As for mm. me and my household, we're going to serve, serve the, Lord. the Lord. So guess what? It may be lonely starting out. Yes. But I promise you that God will connect you and put you around some true believers of him. Mm. Some true worshipers of him. Mm. See, you're trying to fit in that particular circle that keeps rejecting you and that keeps denying oh you God. and that keeps causing you to turn back to that sinful life. But God said, man of God, woman of God, I pulled you out of darkness into my marvelous light. And you need to make a decision mm -hmm. today whether yes. you're going to follow the, the, the words of God, yes. if you're going to accept his wisdom and that you're going to live according to what the word of God says. Hallelujah. It doesn't mean that you won't have mistakes and mishaps and that you won't mess up. But God mm -hmm. says that I am calling you. you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's calling who? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Repeat this after me. Thank you, Jesus. God. God. Is calling me. Is calling me. To a higher level. To a higher level. Of usefulness. Of usefulness. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. To be used. To be used. And loved. And loved. By you. By you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen.
Amen. Hallelujah. 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 I got to right take there. it and give it up for Jesus. I got to take this moment to tell God, Lord, I thank you yes. and I praise you. I magnify yes. you for your name is great, Lord Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. And I don't ever want to be ashamed of Hallelujah. the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm going to be transparent. There have been times when I've been ashamed, even though I knew that I was Glory. saved. There were times when I should have opened up my mouth and told somebody. Yes. about the saving grace of Jesus Christ, but I didn't feel like being different. Yes. But God has created you and he has set you and I apart for his glory. Now, will you allow the God to use you in the manner where he wants to use you, where he's already predestined and ordained for you to be used, not for where you want to be used and how you want to look good, but how you should have the desire to make God look good because he's already great. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There you have it. Thank you, Almighty God. Line up with the word. We're in the book of Proverbs. We're in the book of Masha. To be like. And in this case, we're striving to be like who? Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. If you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, Tonight's your night to reach out to Thank me. you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, Lord, hallelujah, please come into my life. Hallelujah. Please save me and please put me on the right path. And right now, help me understand the yes. book of Proverbs yes, God. so that I might Jesus. understand Thank you, Lord. how Thank to live you. my life. I hope that you've Thank accepted you. the value that came forth tonight. I hope that your soul, your spirit, your very essence of yourself was encouraged Thank tonight. You. And I hope that you go about living the plan of God for your life. Amen. Thank you. ILM loves you. Amen. But more importantly, God loves you. Peace, blessings to all. We'll see you Sunday.